couple of months ago I did a video on Virgin Galactic and how I was bullish on the business for the long term. At that point it was trading at around $44 a share and it has since crashed to about $22 a share as that closed last Friday. So I got it wrong. So there was a never a chance that a business that had its interests in space tourism was ever going to do well. However, in this video I look into why I'm still bullish and why this could be one of the biggest stocks of a generation. I'm Neil and welcome to Neil Invests and this series is called 5 Minute Stocks. In this series what we look to do is we look to cover the top line key fundamentals of a given business and explore what its prospects might be for the future. If this sounds like your sort of thing please do consider giving a subscribe. So my goal is to make financial independence in the next 12 years by the time I'm 50. So at that point what I wish to be is in a position whereby I can retire if I want to, I can work if I want to, but basically I have the choice. And in order to be able to do that, I have my investment portfolios, which I track on this channel and I will be tracking for the duration of that time so we can keep an eye on how things are progressing. Within that portfolio, I do have a couple of pretty volatile stocks and Virgin Galactic absolutely is one of those if it's within that criteria. However, where often is the case is yes, they can crash down to nothing, but volatile stocks can also go to the moon. So here's my holding. It's currently showing that I am 25% down. However, that's not actually the case. I'm actually 23% up, long story short. I had to move my holding from my invest count into my ISA within trading two and two. So it sort of squares it all out and you go back to zero again when you rebuy in into your ISA. So it's not a serious cash position that I have at the moment. What I am gonna to look to do is add to this over the next 12 months. I did actually even buy another share at the back end of last week. So I'm gonna to continue to drip into this over the period of time. So why am I doing this? So firstly, as of last month, I don't know whether you saw this, but Kathy Wood has created a new ARK Invest ETF and it is called ARK X. Now, if you don't know who Kathy Wood is, Google's your best friend here, but she's pretty much the hottest property there is in investing at the moment. So ARK X is the world's first space ETF and Virgin Galactic are in that ETF. And what it looks to do is track a load of businesses that are in space tourism. So one of the criticisms that has come up about it is around the fact that there aren't that many space tourism businesses within the ETF. And for me, the reason for that is, well, there aren't actually that many space tourism businesses listed. So as more and more businesses start to become listed, they will get included into this ETF over time, I'm sure. So if you consider the likes of Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin, for example, that will in time potentially come onto this ETF. Now, Cathie Wood, buying into this stock alone shouldn't be the reason that you yourself purchased it. So it's a key indicator that a relatively successful recent investor is keen on it, but you must do your own research as well. And now secondly, the second reason is that the analyst predictions for this stock over the next 12 months are looking pretty good. They're looking like that they're predicting a medium range of around $40. So that would represent an 80% uplift on the holding right now. You have it, so an 80% return inside 12 months is a pretty good, you know, it's not bad. You'd be happy with that. But what I have to bear in mind, such a volatile stock, this could go even further down, even lower. So it is a risky play. So the hottest property in investing right now believes that this is a buy. The analysts have a pretty good prediction in terms of a medium range of $40 for this stock in the next 12 months. So two really strong reasons why I'm buying it. And the third one is the key one for me, so we'll come on to that. Now before we do, if you are interested in buying this stock, I'll put a link below to Free Trade where you can open an account and they have this stock in there. So you'll get a free share in order so you'll get a free share if you do that. I'll get a free share too in terms of transparency. But if you want to start investing into this stock, please feel free to use that link below. And thirdly, and probably most importantly for me actually, is look at this thing. It is bloody amazing. It's awesome. It is so cool. And that's it. That's the point. We are on the brink of normal people being able to travel into space. And that is just so amazing. I can't believe that we could be part of the generation where normal people get to travel into space. And the world has shifted up until this point, pre-pandemic as well. So pre-pandemic, there was more emphasis put on experiences rather than possessions. There are more and more people who will be prepared to pay decent money for experiences, experiences that they can Instagram, experiences that they can talk about to their kids, and it doesn't get one much better than traveling into chuffing space. And I'm one of them, you know, I'd love to be able to do this. I'd love for the point to become that this is actually um, cost effective. At the moment, I think it's about $250,000 in order to get on one of these flights. But in the future, if this was a cost effective thing to do, I would love it, I would be straight up there. So can you imagine the potential revenue that these sort of businesses could generate if they get this cracked? To be able to do something that only just a handful of people have ever been able to experience, that's just phenomenal from my mind. 
So you can look at the numbers all you want and that's great and it is a really important part of investing but for me it's around trying to predict what the future might hold trying to predict why are the trends are going to go what sort of people are going to be what people are going to be spending their money on in the future and for that alone i think that that's why this stock is a pretty good play right there's an elephant in the room as well that we're going to have to address and that is that both chamath paliapathia who is the chairman of virgin galactic and richard branson who is the founder of virgin galactic have sold a number of shares in recent weeks so Richard Branson has just sold a proportion, whereas Paliapathia has sold his entire holding of Virgin Galactic stock. So insider selling is often a key indicator that perhaps there's something wrong in the business at the moment. But for me, I'm not worried. And the reason I'm not worried is for a start, Richard Branson has not in any way sold all of his holding. He is still the majority stockholder within Virgin Galactic. What he has done is he's released a load of cash to help out some of his other businesses. So a lot of his businesses are tourism related and he needs some cash in order to try and bump them up at the moment. My view on Chamath taking his cash out is that actually he already has a holding through a SPAC. So it's around not trying to duplicate his holdings. So, so this is a stock I'm gonna to continue to hold. I'm gonna to continue to drip in over the next 12 months, over the no next number of years in fact. And actually what I would really love to be able to do one day is actually be a Virgin Galactic customer.